I'm not even gonna pretend to understand how somebody made a stealth drone in tabs, but you better believe that I'm gonna pull an Obama and bomb the crap out of the Shire. <laughs> Come on, show me what you got. They can jump on you guys, but you can shoot them with bullets? We're kinda hoping for explosions, but yeah, I, I guess shooting them in the head works. How am I disappointed by stealth drones? I've been spoiled in this game. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game that long ago ignited a burning hatred in me for Hobbit, believe it or not. But every now and then, you guys entice me to defend one mind-blowingly stupid Hobbit, and I always end up having a whole lot of fun when doing it. Blumpkin here is about as sturdy as a Fabergé egg, and half as smart. Which is a real problem because he loves to dive headfirst into danger. So the goal here isn't only to defeat our enemies, but also to protect the Hobbit. We'll start things off at a level called Thieves from the Woods, where you can kinda see some of them now, but you might have noticed in the last shot that the woods behind Blumpkin are filled with, like, Robin Hood's Merry Men? Except instead of stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, they really just want to turn Blumpkin inside out. <laughs> so I'm thinking we might want to introduce the law to these woods with a couple of quick draws. I would imagine bullets are quite effective against puffy pants, bows, and arrows. <laughs> and then maybe a couple of miners as well? I, I want something to get shot by the arrows. I know that the quick draws are gonna dodge. That's gonna be a problem because then they could easily just hit Blumpkin. <laughs> Fingers crossed, there we go. Yes, you guys just keep shooting and uh, protect the VIP. Oh no, oh, okay. Oh, he really got shot clean in the head, but he's alive. He's not getting back up, but he's clearly living. So, I'm gonna call this a win. <laughs> I, I've never seen this before. He actually managed to get that archer. He pushed him off the edge of the map, but he got like partially lobotomized in the process. As long as he's somewhat alive, legally alive, that's all that matters. Well, the good news is we can continue with the campaign because Blumpkin made a complete recovery. He's no longer a vegetable. But the bad news is, we've moved on to a public execution? <laughs> it looks like a crowd is gathered in front of the castle to watch the executioners do their job. Do you really need to execute somebody that's the size of an Oompa Loompa using an axe that's as big as a car door? Of course they're not gonna let me up on the execution stage, so I need to start out here in the crowd and then rush in to stop the show? <laughs> or... Put on a better show? What if we try bomb on a stick? If we can get an explosion that's big enough to take out the executioners before they get their swipe in, but small enough as to not singe Blumpkin, then that'd put on a pretty good show for the crowd. Maybe that'd satiate their bloodlust? I don't know how much I should trust the demolition expertise of people who treat their bombs like marshmallows. <laughs> it's worth a shot. And then I'm also thinking teachers. Oh, they kind of fit into the crowd, blend in a little bit, and I think they can dodge melee attacks, whereas most of these enemies are melee. What if we put a raptor in the back? <laughs> no one wants to watch this show. No, there's interesting things happening behind us. They're eating our butt. Yeah, I, I like that. Now, hopefully the boom is just right. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, come on. I, I, I said that there was a possibility that we weren't going to get just the right level of explosion, and it was a little short, which is a real shame. And by the look of things, the teachers were the ones who got taught as well, so <laughs> nothing really went our way. What you guys doing? Is this some kind of celebratory dance? Or orgy? Why wasn't I invited? Oh, right, because I lost. Dragons should have some kind of type advantage against medieval peasants, right? Like, that's the whole reason that knights were fighting dragons in the first place. I'm not seeing any knights around, but I am seeing quite a few peasants dressed in flammable tinder. 
<laughs> Seems like it should work out. And then I also really want to try the Ballooner. I've never had success with the Ballooner. If anything, I kind of hate them and they gross me out. But if we can pick up the Executioner, then they can't really execute anything in the sky. If they land successfully, though, we might need something to fight them on re-entry. How about we go with Hoplites? Just station some hoplites all over the place and kind of hope for the best. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just hoping that we can get takeoff. Oh, okay. And we have a living plumpkin and living executioners. But the ballooners aren't ready to give up. Yes, that's it. Grab them with your gross jizzy hands. They can't hurt plumpkin if they're stuck. Oh my god, this is actually working. Where's the fire coming from? Who's who's throwing fire? Oh, uh, that's not good. The potions explode now? I don't like that. I don't think Blumpkin likes that either. Oh, no, no. He's alive. He's still alive. Okay, this is, this is fine. I just need you guys to close the distance. Oh, no. No, please. <laughs> Last time we saw you use some kind of psychic ability to crumple one of these things. I don't suppose you'd like to get up and do it again, please. <laughs> I'll give anything for you to ruin this guy. Oh, this is just the worst. I'm, I'm literally sitting here watching a hobbit drunk in a field wait for death. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. So, what's happening now? I guess we just hang out and wallow in misery ourselves. At this point, we all know that the battles here aren't totally accurate. Like, I feel like if I run that again, I'd probably win or stand a chance of winning, but we can also improve. If I reposition a couple of these hoplites right behind the potion sellers, then maybe we'll stab the problems away. I gotta say, I really appreciate the Ballooner's efforts here. They're doing a good job. They carry away the danger. They re-enter the atmosphere and blow up the VIP. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> right when I try to say something good about them. Oh my God. I'm gonna hope that a single Ballooner can pick up these Executioners, and then maybe we'll only have like a 50-50 chance of an explosive re-entry. <laughs> you see what I mean? Not totally accurate. But then I've saved $360, which I could use to blow up some of these troublemakers. Like if we grabbed, actually I should grab them from behind. Don't grab women from behind, okay? Only in tabs. <laughs> but if we grab some of these more important units, and blow them up, that might help. And then, yeah, we're gonna need the hoplites again because they actually did a good job. Do some on the guards, do some on the re-entry, do some on the crowds, and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> Come on, lift. Good, great, okay. Now, you defend him. Re-entry is, is as expected, but that's okay. As long as they're stuck, they can't swing their axe. And if they can't swing their axe, then they can't execute. Flawless! I gotta say, when you reach these really difficult levels, actually pulling it off feels so good. Like, I, I can't believe that strategy worked. Who would have guessed that causing trouble out in front of the castle would result in a level called King's Reinforcements? They've got horses, they've got catapults, they've got the king himself. He is genuinely pissed at Blumpkin. And I'm gonna try to defend him using nothing but Cupid. Because I'm seeing a bunch of units here that don't really appreciate getting shot by Cupid. That's for sure. Like catapult, that'll get turned inside out. The horses, they'll flip off into space. <laughs> I just want to make love and not war. Oh, I only need to survive for 15 seconds. That makes Cupid even more effective. I already lost track of Blumpkin. Yeah, there is a good chance he is dead right now. There are so many enemies. It says that I won, but clearly I didn't. This might be one of those levels that you just can't beat with Blumpkin alive. 
I really wanted to try a peasant rush, you know, like a revolt against the king, but they won't let me use the legacy faction. So it's gonna have to be a skeleton rush, but I kinda wanna play the buddy system again. Once again, we're gonna have the Reaper be nut to butt with Blumpkin, and then wherever Blumpkin goes, the Reaper will follow. Everything else is gonna be skeletons. <laughs> they're spooky, they're scary, they make a great distraction because you wanna kill them again and they can spook the enemy, which means they're wasting time. I only need to survive for 15 seconds. More skeletons, the better. I actually feel pretty good about this. This looks promising so long as Blumpkin isn't a complete idiot. Okay, this is all right. You just stay nice and safe. Uh, numbers, not now. Could you, could you maybe shrink down? There we go. Okay, he's swinging for the fences and he's dead. Where did he go? I, I think he got evaporated. Oh man, you didn't scare them enough. Come on, be spookier. <laughs> this is not what we're looking for. Maybe putting them in a circle isn't a great idea. Like if I can pile up skeletons in the horse lanes, then they might not be able to reach Blumpkin, possibly. I do need a couple of strays just to soak up arrows and stuff like that. Any other horses around that I'm missing? Oh, there's another one over here, which means there's probably one down here somewhere. Scatter you about and... I don't know, man, just put them anywhere, who cares, go. It's not totally accurate, everything is gonna be fine. I wish the numbers would stop. Blumpkin, let go of the horse. Blumpkin, let go of the horse. Oh my god. <laughs> he just grabbed hold of the horse's ass and rode around. Like, I, I can't strategize against stupid on my own team. Of course, I can't use the pikemen who would be able to one-shot these horses because, again, legacy faction. <laughs> so, I'm thinking vampires might be able to pin them down. They do like to pin people down and suck without consent. Maybe we could also go with a couple of cupids. They're good against horses, just making them do backflips. And also, I wouldn't mind Vlad. He can just kind of shish kebab everything. I, I'm using all my money. I'm not going to waste anything. Uh, birds? Yeah, we're going to have birds running around. That's going to have to do it. Okay, Blumpkin, please don't. Please just stay, lie down. Lie down and stay lay down. There's love in the air. Love in the air is good. Love in the air means Blumpkin might survive for five seconds. Three, two, is that an arrow in a spleen? Oh no, come on, you survived an arrow before. Tell me you're okay. D say, say something, say anything. Oh, he's dead, god damn it. <laughs> Do you think the birds may have been our key to success there? Or, or almost success? You know, dying in the last second doesn't feel good, but <laughs> it's definitely progress. We could waste a whole lot more time with a whole bunch more birds. I mean, you guys can get right in there, just right up in the king's face. Play him a tune, jostle his balls, I don't care. Do whatever it takes. Just protect Blumpkin. And Blumpkin, for the love of God, protect yourself. I'm trying my best here, but you are really just constantly in danger. Okay, no, no. Mm. Is he fine? He's, he's fine. One second, one second. Yes. Again, I can't believe I did it. I cut out a lot of failed, unfunny attempts for you guys just to keep the video moving, but I've been at this for two hours. We've beaten three levels. If Blumpkin falling off a roof to his death was the only challenge that we faced in this level, it'd still be really difficult. Like 69% of the time, he is gonna slip and split his head open and there's nothing I can do about it because there is no tabs unit that's shaped like a crash mat. Unfortunately, that's not the only problem because there's also a city full of people that want him dead. This is a level called Marching Legion. I don't even have enough space to really put anything. Like, I, I, I can't get a dragon around this corner very easily, which is a problem. I, I would have them just torch these alleyways, but I can't. I was about to say, I need to hope that these dragons are smart enough to turn around and actually face their enemies, but hoping that any tabs unit is smart enough to do anything is a real flaw in this strategy. I, I, I'm just gonna try to clog things up as best as I can. Delay, 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 I can't even get units in here, they're too fat. Oh no, 
I just ran out of money. Okay, well, run it, I guess. Let's watch him fall down and die. <laughs> it's raining bullets. If you could just stay up there, that would be great. No, you don't You don't want to run down the alleyway, you idiot. You get bonked, you get snaked. What is with the numbers? I, I, I don't understand why the numbers just get big and stay big. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, I, I know I've said that a few times, and I've pulled off what seemed impossible, but there is literally no way. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to set down some wobbly horses to run around like idiots, and then I'm going to take control of Blumpkin and just hang out up here. We could just watch the counter run down and observe all the madness below us. You can't get me! You guys thought you were being clever, making it so that I would fall and die a whole lot, but no, 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 no! I am safe up here, I think- Oh! Snakes! Snakes, no! Oh! Is he- is he good? Uh, I- I need to- I don't know, I think he was good. It- it wouldn't let me get rid of control to move around and see the eyes. I, I'm gonna claim that he was good. I'm a hobbit doctor, trust me. I'm not even gonna pretend to understand how somebody made a stealth drone in tabs, but you better believe that I'm gonna pull an Obama and bomb the crap out of the Shire. <laughs> Come on, show me what you got. They can jump on you guys, but you can shoot them with bullets? We're kinda hoping for explosions, but yeah, I, I guess shooting them in the head works. How am I disappointed by stealth drones? I've been spoiled in this game. It's really impressive that someone was able to make this, but they're so weird. <laughs> like, they keep releasing this moan as if they're actually giants that have been compressed down into strange little drones. Like, uh, you can call them drones, but they don't really make you know, propeller noises. It, it just kind of sounds like somebody's twisting a plastic bottle over and over again. That being said, they're really good at shooting people in the top of the head. I have yet to see a custom unit that's a giant actually work. They always fall over or can't move or screwed up somehow. In this case, Siren Head just looks screwed up, but I'm hoping that he works. If he can so much as step on a hobbit, I'll consider this a success. Oh, oh, okay. He can punch, he can spook, he can uh, uh, float and, and do flips. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no wonder he can move around and stand up so easily. He's lighter than air, and I think I can see his wiener poking through. Um, what is that? Okay, we're not gonna pay any attention to Siren Head's dong. That's a little odd, but... As long as he can punch Hobbit. Will you stop showing it to the camera, damn it? Oh my god. All right, I'm not gonna just stand here and watch you float around punching stuff. I'm, I'm sure I've got other things to do. This absolutely has to be a bug. Like, I've been meaning to show this to you guys for ages now, but I could never replicate it. And when it would happen, it just wouldn't cross my mind. But this is Da Vinci without his tank. And it turns out that if you go into the sandbox, and if you select your custom units, and then you change maps, and then you change back, it gives you access to a faction that isn't really in the game. They don't have pictures or anything like that, but it's all the riders and all the half units, and then as soon as you click away, you can't get back to it because there isn't an actual tab for the faction. I've had an age-old question that I can finally answer. Who would win in a fight? A hundred Da Vinci's without tanks, or one Da Vinci with the tank. <laughs> I don't even know if Da Vinci can fight. I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't programmed to do anything. He might just walk up and try to hump his creation. Oh no, that's actually what it is. Oh no. <laughs> it's like watching a bunch of hamsters walk into a blender. This isn't cool. Oh, I actually, it's a little cool. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> That one guy inside who's super dizzy right now is thinking, I apparently don't have it the worst. Who would have guessed? Wow. All right. Well, that's that. Maybe. They are dying, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're dying. Okay, it's hard to tell because their eyes are as white as their beards and their sleeves. They're a very strange unit that isn't meant to be seen all that often, but 
All right, well, there you have it. Age-old question solved. A tank is better than its rider. You, you good? He's not good. Oh, he might be stuck under there forever. You got a ticket for this ride, sir? Take that as a no. Oh, right. This also gives us access to horse. <laughs> not chariot, not jouster, just horse. <laughs> so what if we had horse face off against their riders. Yeah, you know, we can actually make this a fair fight. It's 17 versus 17. They're both one half of the equation. One is wearing armor and has weapons and the other is made of rubber. So yeah, let's see how that goes. <gasps> oh, wait, what? Hold on a second. Are the horses actually gonna run away with this? I thought they were gonna get turned into glue. That's amazing. All right then, horses, how about we step things up a little bit? We'll have you face off against the witch, except not the witch on its broom. It's not gonna be flying around. I don't know if it's gonna be able to duplicate itself or if that's really gonna matter. The horses could just run over the duplicates. Uh, reality froze for a second there. They did make duplicates on brooms, but they don't know how to fly because the originals weren't. <laughs> they were just standing around and got run over again. The horse is absolutely the best half of any unit in this game. Here's another weird one. We can have horses face off against bats and crows. Are the crows just gonna explode? Or... I think they spawned in the ground. Are you guys gonna come out? Uh, they're still underground. That's probably not good. And the bats turned into vampires. And then the vampires turned into jam because they were run over by the horses. <laughs> Here we go. This is exactly the unit that we need. The lasso rider. They should be able to catch the horses. This is how you catch a horse, right? You lasso it and then you break it or whatever. So go ahead and just miss every single rope and get run over. I don't understand. Why is horse the Muhammad Ali of the broken faction? Nothing makes sense. Final battle. We're gonna have horse face off against snakes as well as clams. But again, I think the clams may be going underground. Really hard to tell. Yeah, they're underground and the snakes got crucified. I give up. Horse is invincible. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. If you have any more ideas for stuff you'd like to see me do, you know, continuing with the Defend the Hobbit campaign or another Defend the Hobbit campaign or maybe doing some more stuff with these incredibly smooth horses, then be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to run over snakes and hobbits again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.